Roxio Creator makes it easy to send your audiobooks to your mobile device in a single file with convenient features like pause and resume and chapters for your iPod. To get started, in Creator, click Music Audio and then Create Audiobooks. Audiobook Creator opens. You can rip an audiobook from an audiobook CD or use non-copy protected audio files that you already have on your hard disk. Here we will use the first option. Most audiobooks come in multiple CDs. Insert the first CD into your CD or DVD-ROM drive and click Rip from CD. The Rip Tracks from CD dialog opens. If you have more than one optical drive, select the drive containing the audio CD in the Import From list box. Select Start to begin importing the tracks. Audiobook Creator starts importing the disc track by track. While importing, Audiobook Creator shows you the time remaining plus the disk space needed and what's available on your system to help make sure you don't run out of space. Audio CD Creator will play a tone when finished importing each disk and eject the disk unless you change the setting. To rip the next CD, insert it into the drive and Audio CD Creator will rip that next. When you're finished, click Done and then Finish to return to the main program. Here are the tracks we just imported. You can preview the tracks using these controls and modify title and author information here. If you'd like to display custom art on your iPod or other player while your audiobook plays, click the Change Cover Art button. Media Selector opens. Navigate to where you stored your image. This is an image that I downloaded from the book's Wikipedia page. Click the image, then OK. Audiobook Creator displays the image here. If any white space is showing around the edges, right-click and choose Auto Crop to delete it. If you have a portable player attached, like the iPod here, Audiobook Creator will automatically choose the correct output settings. If you're creating a playlist or MP3 disc, click the Settings icon to choose your output settings. You can select the desired audio quality and audio format, and adjust the maximum duration of any single audiobook file which is useful because some players start to stutter with very long files. After choosing your setting, you can output to a playlist for playing back on your computer. Or, if you have a device connected to your computer, like this iPod, click that device and the audiobook will be converted and sent to your player. Audiobook Creator will automatically transfer the file to iTunes. Here you can see it in the Audiobooks tab, complete with cover art, and iTunes will sync it with your iPod. The file is produced using Apple's audiobook format so you can navigate by chapter and pause and resume. Audiobook Creator produces the book in a single file so you don't have dozens of files in iTunes or on your iPod. And here's the book in the audiobook section on my iPod ready to play.